Hey guys, I'm Ben from Adapt Looks, and I hope you're as excited as I am to see what the very talented Stuart Wood can do using our macro lighting equipment. I'm over on the Adapt Looks channel if you want to come and check us out for some more uh, tutorials using the Adapt Looks studio, uh, lots of ideas and inspiration for your macro photography as well. Uh, for now though, guys, over to you, Stuart. Oh, a new toy to play with. Hello, my name's Stuart Wood and welcome to this video. As you can guess, we are going to be looking at the Adapt Look system. I'd like to thank Ben for that nice introduction and I would like to thank the rest of the team for sending me over a review unit of the Adapt Look combo pack. Before we get started with the unboxing initial thoughts, I'd like to let you know that the guys over at Daptilux have been kind enough to send us a 5% coupon code for their entire store. So if you want to get hold of this system or any accessories if you've already got the system, then you can use the coupon code STUARTWOOD2019 for a 5% discount. And that code is valid until the end of September. So when I initially got sent the Daptilux, I was thinking of something really grand and spectacular we could do with it. But for the first video, I want to keep things simple. So what we're going to do is some water drop photography on some flowers. I think the Adapt Looks will be the perfect lighting system for that type of image. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Now oh, we've got some nice things. This, this I like. Gives you some ideas of what you can do with the Adapt Looks system. But there is our Adapt Looks. So we have the Adapt Looks unit itself. And with this pack, I have two white LED arms, one red and one blue. And we also have a blue and red diffuser, and we have various diffuser types just here. They're all different um, amounts of diffusion. We also have a charging brick in the box, and we have a mount so that you can mount it onto your hot shoe. For now, because it's not mine, I have to send this back. I'm just going to plop it back into its box and just set it out the way. Okay, so what we have is we have some flowers, various different flowers. Okay, so we have to choose the flowers we want to have a little play with. I'm thinking the yellow ones and possibly this uh, Gibroa Daisy. Okay, that looks like it might be an interesting one to photograph. Have a look, let's get various different colours, shall we? Okay, so we're going to start off with these two. There. These to one side. Okay, so you've seen me do water drop photography before. It's going to be a similar situation to that, except we are going to be lighting the images with the Adapt Look Studio. So, first of all, we need to build our scene up. And all I'm doing, I'm just having a look at the flares. Now we've done Gibraltar daisies before. So let's just put that to a side and let's use this flower here. So I'm just going to break it off the stem, make it a little bit shorter. Now we'll get my specimen holder. Now since we are working with water, I have some toilet paper. And this specimen holder clamp is very strong, so if I put the flare on there, it's literally going to cut through the stem. So to stop that, I'm just going to wrap it up in this toilet paper. I have to give it a little bit of softening to stop it chewing through the stem. There we go. So for this, let's, uh, let's see if we can choose a background for this. And I want it to blend in with the background, so I want it all to be like a pinky theme. So we're going to use this pink background. It is lighter than our, our flower, so we might have to swap it out at some point. But let's just give that a go first. Okay, so there we go. Right, now then. For this video, we're using the Canon 650D. I know I keep saying it in every video, but eventually we are going to have a different camera. So it's nice to just to keep reference for each video. But we are using the 650D. We have the Irix 150mm f2.8 Dragonfly macro lens. And uh, we are going to be using the Adapter Look Studio to light this scene. But before we do that, we need to just have a look at this scene as it is under the video lights. What we've got to do now is we've got to try and find an area on the flare that looks good for a water drop. 
Now I want an area where we can place the water drop on, but we've got a nice out of focus background. All right, let's get some water out. Okay. Yeah, we've got the edge of the flower. Is it too busy or not is the question. So let's pluck out some of these petals. You know what, actually, we could possibly use just the petal. Let's just, uh, this is the way these, um, these photography sessions go. Sometimes you just do something completely different to what you planned. And I want to have a look what that looks like, just a single petal. So what I'm thinking is we can use this petal here and have, let me have a look here, the very, very edge of it like that. We can then bring this one down and use as a background like that. What I want to do is I'm just using some uh, nail clippers just to clip off this part of the petal here. Okay. And you can see how we're building up the scene. Okay. And I want to have just a single drop right on the edge of that petal. Let me get my syringe out. This is a um, diabetic syringe. Okay. So don't ask me how to get hold of one because I wouldn't know. This one was given to me by a friend. If you've got a friend who's a diabetic, maybe you could ask them. I'm just going to try and place this drop right on the edge. There we go. Now, because we put the drop on, it's actually lowered the petal a little bit. So we need to readjust the camera just very slightly. And I want the, I want the drop to be the emphasis. The, uh, the drop is the subject, okay? I've just got to adjust the focus very slightly. So that's the scene lit with just my video lights. So it's time to bring in the adapter looks. Okay, there's a very good chance that by the time I get the adapter look set up, that drop will have evaporated, but that's okay, we can just put another one on. Okay, so we have our adapter look system here, and I'm going to use the two white arms to begin with. And to set those up, what you do is you get the white arm, and you just slot it in, and there you go. So we're going to use those two arms, slot them in, and I'll just bend them up. So you can bend these arms anywhere you want, look. Okay, which is fantastic i think the adapt look studio has a tripod mount however we won't be using it in this situation because it's not needed so to begin with let's uh let's readjust our camera because the petal has gone down a little bit okay and we'll just readjust our focus a little bit now the focusing isn't permanent yet we're just setting up the light so first of all i want to set up a light on the background so we've got one light on the background one light on the uh, the drip okay now obviously it's far too bright at the moment so let's get some diffusers on there shall we and these diffusers are magnetic so you just clip them on very similar to the diffusers on the um, the twin macro flash okay so now we have that right, i'm going to bring it around this way instead right a better look lining it up to where i want it all right, let's see how that looks. Okay, so it's a little bit softer. So we have that system roughly set up, but it's still too bright. And what I like is this adapt lock system comes with an app that you can use to control the light. So I'm just going to connect now to the pod. And when you're connecting, if you press down this button, connect for the first time, you can connect. Pod for selection pod, there we go. Right, so let me just move this so you can see it. So you can see here, we have control over the brightness of the lights. Okay. Now I can control each light individually. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn down the background light and we're going to work on the light for the drop. And I'm just going to turn up the brightness while I'm looking at the camera to see what I like. Okay, let's select the background one. 
And I want to turn that up so that it starts to slightly disappear. Come back to the light at the front. You can see there that we can change the individual lights. Okay, let's take a picture with this now. I'm going to set up a two second timer. Okay, and let's take a picture. You see there, it's a little bit too dark. Now, I don't want to mess with the lights, so I'm just going to drop my exposure so that I am overexposing the image by one stop. I'll take another picture. There you go. If you need extra power, there's also a boost mode that you can activate by pressing the plus button, holding it down for a few seconds. So we've got something that we like, and all we gotta do now is just play with the system. So what I wanna do is I wanna change the color of the lights. So instead of changing the arms, I'm just going to change the diffusers for now, just to see what they come up like with just a different diffuser. So I'm thinking we want red in the background. Very simple, just unplugs, it's just magnetic. We'll put that on there, you can see there we've got a nice deep vibrant red. Let's see what happens if we change the, uh, the front light to a blue. So getting kind of a purpley effect there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up this light here. You can see there? Pretty neat, eh? Let's take a picture of that, shall we? You can see there, quick and easy, how you can control the light using this Adapt Lux system. So what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to have a little play with it. I'm not going to show you the whole lot, because otherwise this video is going to be very, very long. But I'm going to have a play with that, and I'm going to put up some images on the screen now, I process these in Lightroom using my macro presets. So there you have it, that is the Adapter Look system. I think it's a fantastic system, and again, this is the first time I've used the system. And I've got a lot of ideas running around in my head, as in, are they waterproof? I don't think they are, but we'll find out when Ben tells us in the comments. Yes, I'm going to get Ben to hijack the comments and let us know in the comments, are these waterproof? And are there any plans to do waterproof arms? Because I could think of some wicked ideas for this system if they're waterproof. So we're going to be doing a lot more with this Adapter Lux system in the coming weeks. I've got it for a couple more weeks, I believe. Until the end of September, you can save 5% on any purchase of the Adapter Lux store using the coupon code StuartWood2019. Again, I want to thank Ben and the team at Adapter Lux for sending me this review unit. I will be doing a full review of this in a future episode. So let me know in the comments what you thought of the first video with the Adapter Lux system. I think it's a fantastic system. I would like to thank you for getting to the end of the video. My name's Stuart Wood, and again, as always, I'll see you on the next video. So as you can already guess from that introduction, this is a video about the Adapt Look system. I'd like to thank... Hello, my name's Stuart Wood, and welcome to this video. In this video, as you probably already guessed, we are going to be... Now, before we get started with the unboxing of... An... Now, before we get started with the unboxing initial thoughts, I'd like to let you know that they, they, yeah. I've got a card in here. No. We've got no batteries in. Oh, my God. I'm not going to use the other arms. I'm just going to change the, uh, the, diff, diff, diff. yeah, they're called diffusers, Stu. Again, I want to thank Ben and the team at Adaptalux for sending me this Adaptalux unit for review. Why do you do that every time I'm talking?